Welcome back to the channel everybody, it's your boy Blaze here. I hope you guys are having a blazing day, cause I am. As you can see, it's very hot outside. But nonetheless, today's video is gonna be how I managed to ruin my Sabin carbon, all right? There's a lot of things that happened over the years that I own these carbon fiber pieces and I'm going to show you guys what's been the downside of that, okay? Let's get into the video, starting now. All right guys, let's get into the fender first, okay? So as you guys saw in the previous videos, this one up here um, I was in North Carolina and as you guys know I have a brand new well not brand new but a custom made bumper okay and the fault with that was is that I don't have the foam piece there so sometimes the bumper just comes out because uh, the clips are not holding in there intact and that's how I managed to do this right over here on both sides of my fenders uh, the the bumper itself would pop out and it came up and it was uh, going against the fenders and it kind of burnt a little tiny hole into it. But also another thing, another story I got to tell you guys is how this happened. As you guys can see, it's cracking and it's coming from all the way from the front to the back. Alright, so the way that happened was I was driving on the highway and it was a pretty busy day and what happened was a car that was on the other lane beside me was going and as he passed me all I saw was him running over a piece of wood and it split into pieces and bam next thing I know it hits the side of the fender and then a day later it spider webbed like that so that's how that fender got ruined and a um, similar thing happening on this side I have a little I don't know if you guys can see let me bring you guys in where is it? Right here, there's a crack starting to form. That's a rocket ship. Um, yeah, I don't know how a rock just bounced off the road and it hit my carbon fiber and now it's starting to crack. However, the hood itself is fine. The hood itself doesn't have any cracks. Nothing wrong with it, all right? Nothing, nothing wrong. However, I'm very upset about this one thing. One of the rarest pieces for the Scion TC, which is the Racing Solutions duck bill. This one right here. I'm an idiot, okay? I'm an idiot. I tried to take a sticker off that I had on there and I ended up scratching the crap out of the back. Let me see, where is it? Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see well, right here, there's some scratches. That's for when I was trying to take stickers off those there, and um, I ended up scratching it. I feel very, I feel, I feel dumb. But um, another thing actually that I can show you guys that happened to the hood is due to the sun. As you guys can see, I'm in El Paso, Texas. This sun is hot, and it burns through a lot of things. And because my carbon fiber didn't have a ceramic coating on it like it should have, I didn't have the money to do it. This is what happens when you don't have ceramic coat on your carbon fiber, okay? This starts to happen. The clear coat's coming off, and you can see the carbon fiber is getting very, very exposed. I can actually scratch the carbon fiber. Up here started happening the same thing and uh, as you can see it's starting to do over here on the fenders as well. So how do I plan to fix it? Well the fenders I can't really fix. I can only get new fenders. Which that's a lot of money. The hood though, all I had to do, there's nothing I ever can really do. That's the downside of owning carbon fiber is you got to deal with the pain that the earth and nature causes you, right? You just gotta deal with it. But I just want to be real with you guys, letting you know that my build is not perfect, so don't feel bad about yours. But if you wanna see this car get fixed and back on the road, nice and pretty at car shows, make sure you subscribe and leave, you know, turn the signal bell on so you don't miss a single video. And with that being said, comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.